Yo, yo, what up? Okay, so we're going to talk about how you can actually eliminate that muffin top and that diabetes, baby. Because there's a, there's a study that was done recently, uh, within the past uh, year or two, that was done by Harvard that actually, I'm going to show you this in a second, but the simple answer and the reason that you have a muffin top and you have diabetes is because of sugar, okay? And bread, pasta, crackers, cereal, that's sugar to your body, in case you didn't know that, all right? So the fastest way to eliminate these is actually to eliminate sugar, okay? And do the carnivore diet. You're like, what? The carnivore diet? Carnivore diet is something that, pff, dude, I've been doing this for like pff, ever, okay? Like almost a decade before it was even a thing, right? But let me tell you, let me show you a little study that just came up recently. I just put this on my Instagram earlier because so Harvard, Harvard just recently did a study with 2,000 people and had them do the carnivore diet. Okay, for about six months. Okay, here was some of the results. Ninety-three percent improved their overall, or improved or resolved their obesity and excess weight. Ninety-three percent. Okay, ninety-three percent improved their hypertension, meaning they're basically going to eliminate their heart attacks. Right? From what eating meat? Eating meat reduces your chances of a heart attack. Yes, meat is a health food. Okay, don't listen to the fucking globalists that are trying to exterminate you. Okay. Um, 98% improved their, uh, their conditions related to diabetes. I'm gonna show you something else in a second about this. And then 97% improved their gastrointestinal symptoms, meaning your gut problems, right? You got gut problems because you're eating shit that wrecks the gut. You know, bread, pasta, cereal, sugar, right? And then, uh, 96% improved their psychiatric symptoms. Me your mental health issues are directly caused by your shit American diet, Okay. Right, and as you can see, this is a study done over two thousand people. Now, here's a little bit more into the study. Um, it was done in 2021. Okay, a uh, hundred percent of the diabetics came off their injectable medications. Okay, this is one of the craziest things about the medical community, and that th drives me absolutely nuts about today's doctors. Today's doctors are nothing but high-paid drug dealers. Okay, that's it. That's all they are. That's all they are. They don't know anything about nutrition. They don't know anything about prevention. They don't know anything about cures. They are only taught from the day they get in medical school how to treat symptoms with drugs. Basically put a Band-Aid over a gushing wound is what they're taught. Okay? Still not dealing with the gushing wound. All right? Still not dealing with the problem. It's just putting a Band-Aid on it, which is going to cause a whole another gushing wound to, to, to open up somewhere else because you're going to start having side effects from that stuff. Right? So the... Doctor is not where you go find your health. You find your health in your grocery store, in your kitchen, in your daily habits. That's where your health is found. By changing the way you live. Okay? So, 100% got off their injectables. And what I was saying about this is because what happens is, is when you have diabetes, you basically just been binging on carbs for decades. And your body basically says, fuck you. I don't like you. You're poisoning me. This is bullshit. Why you keep eating all these fucking carbs? No, I don't want to stuff any more of these fucking carbs and this sugar into my cells. No, I don't want any more. Stop giving me this shit. So it literally rejects it, right? And then you end up with um, with insulin resistance. Which insulin's kind of like the little hormone that stuffs the stuff into your cells, right? Your body gets to a point where it's like, no, I don't want any more. Stop this shit. I don't want it, right? Because it's damaging your body, right? And then you're just basically deteriorating. That's why people start to lose their toes, start to lose their sight, right? Because all this blood sugar stays in their system, and it's just damaging your cells. It's like sandpaper to your cells, right? It's just tearing you apart from the inside out. You're basically rotting from the inside out because of sugar. Because you couldn't stop eating some fucking cookies, okay? Now, that is, so what happens is you go to the doctor... And the doctors, because they're fucking stupid, what do they do? Oh, you have diabetes. All you need to do is just take this insulin. <laughs> and they to make you take more insulin to stuff more sugar into your cells. Okay? Stupid. That is stupid. Okay? How do you eliminate the sugar that's coming in, that's in your system? You stop fucking eating it. That's how you cure your diabetes. You stop fucking eating it. <laughs> okay? Doctor didn't tell you that because he's dumb. You don't know this shit, right? Now, so anyways, so the people who did the carnivore diet pew, got rid of their injectables, right? 92% got off their insulin completely. And this didn't even take into account people that were actually working out lifting weights because that's actually the part number two, how you cure diabetes, right? Carnivore diet and then lift weights, 
regularly. Work out every single day. Boom, diabetes gone in 30 days. Okay, done. Just like that. Okay, do it with clients all the time. 84% came off the oral medications. Their CRP, which is their inflammatory markers, uh, decreased significantly. They had high inflammatory markers because when you eat these foods, it is highly inflammatory, which is what leads to your problems. Okay, and then 90% improved improvement in, on all diseases. Okay, now, like I said, had these people been working out and lifting weights, right? And being like on point 100% carnivore, because these people weren't even 100% carnivore. They were just like mostly, right? Some of them were still eating some other shit, right? Because it was like a six month study and people were very undisciplined, right? But for the most part, they tried, you know, they did the best that they felt they could at that moment, right? But they could have done better. And all these numbers would say 100%, right? But, anyways, so this is a fast way to, move your, to, to remove your muffin top, right? Like I've been doing carnivore since like, man. Like the early 2000 teens ish area. Uh, about 2016 was when I developed my C3 diet, okay? Um, which is what I basically live off year round, right? Like, for example, like with today's like uh, Thursday, I've had zero carbs all week, okay? Do I look like I'm gonna die? Do I, it, are my energy levels plummeting, right? I have literally nothing, right? But just animals, okay? have a resting heart rate of a 40 BPM, right? I can outperform everybody. I will run your dick into the dirt on anything. I will outlift you pound for pound. Like I'm a savage and all I do is eat meat, okay? So anyways, and I stay lean year round, right? So um, I've been doing this for, for like a really long time, right? So if this was gonna have any kind of health problems, right? How come I don't have high blood pressure? How come I don't have cancer? How come I don't have diabetes? How come I don't have uh autoimmune diseases how come i don't have any of these problems right because i don't eat the stupid shit that everybody else does that gives them the problems okay the pizza the bread the sandwiches the cereals the pop tarts right i don't eat that shit okay so so i'm trying to give the secrets here but i'm gonna tell you why this diet is so magical okay so now we've talked about the science right and there's a lot of doctors that back this up um uh, Dr. Sean Baker, uh, there's, man, there's so many doctors. I can't even think of so many off the top of my head. But anyways, I'm going to show you why this is so important and how we're going to eliminate this muffin top, okay? Because this right here, this is sugar belly, okay? When you eat lots of carbs, and that's carbs, right? Lots of sugar. Your insulin likes to store it in your belly, right? So I'm going to show you how to eliminate this, okay? So here's why carnivore is so important. Because when you eliminate the carnivore, it basically has two major benefits, okay? When you eliminate... The, or when you're eating carnivore, I mean, uh, and you eliminate the processed food, sugary, carby shit, right? I call you guys carbies, right? Because you're looking like a, you know, if there's Barbie and then there's carby, right? Matter of fact, let's check this out. I'll show you my Instagram so you know what I'm talking about because I just posted this yesterday. There's Barbie and then there's carby, okay? Let me pull up my Instagram real quick. Okay, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be following me on Instagram, okay? Because you're missing out a lot of shit. Check this out. There's carby. Okay, here's Carby. This is Carby, right? Carby, right? But the ladies want to be Barbies, right? The men want to be Ken, right? I don't have Ken here, right? But this is Carby, right? And, and if you're a man and you're a Carby, you basically have titties and stuff too and low testosterone, so you basically look like her too, okay? Just, you're just not as cute. <laughs> okay, now, this is what happens, okay? Now, the reason why I discovered carnivore to begin with was because I was getting ready for, like, shows and stuff like that, right? Like, there's, there's, you can't see them right here because there's, t there's tons of trophies up here, right? I have them up on the top of my shelf here. Um, but I was getting ready for a show, and, uh, and I, just, I just wanted to fucking get shredded, like, fast, right? And, uh, and so I just cut out all my carbs, right? Because I normally would do, like, a type of carb cycling and do, like, lower carbs, right? And then do a refeed day, and then I was getting ready for this one show, and I just cut them out completely for, like, three months, didn't eat a damn carb for three months. And I got so goddamn shredded, okay? Ridiculous shredded, okay? Like my waist was like this big, right? And um, uh, so I, I got super shredded, right? And then I was like, man, that was like the easiest sh shred like I've ever done in my life. And then I started like, hmm, kind of digging this, like zero carbs, no vegetables, no nothing, just straight. Like even on my refeed days, I was just doing like a higher protein, higher fat refeed day on my higher calorie day i was just eating more meats right instead of actually loading up with carbs which i normally do right and it got, anyways it got super shredded right so anyways i ended up developing the diet right but i also noticed that during that period i was eating zero carbs right and i was setting prs on my lifts 
on my sprints, on my workouts at Thousand Steps Beach. Like, I was setting PRs, and I was like, whoa, man, I'm feeling amazing right now. Like, I'm so on top of my game. I'm like, I'm really digging this, like, zero-carb life, right? So, and that was kind of like where the whole carnivore thing kind of began, right? And that's when I started to kind of fall in love with it. And I also noticed, too, that, and this is also one of the big benefits, okay? So, number one is uh, the reason why this is important is because when you consume carbs, it's going to do one thing, okay? Whether it's vegetables, whether it's fruit, whether it's grains, whether it's beans, it's going to trigger the storage hormone, hormone known as insulin, okay? Anytime that you have insulin in your blood, listen to what I'm saying. Anytime you have insulin in your blood, your body's ability and desire to burn your body fat stops. Let me repeat that again. You can be in a calorie deficit, but if you just ate some carbs, you are going to burn no body fat because of the insulin, okay? So for you guys that are eating every, you know, like three times a day or six times a day and you're eating carbs every meal, your fat loss, even if you're in a deficit, is going to be way slower because this insulin is in your blood, right? So one of the reasons why carnivore is so fast is because your your insulin is basically like minuscule to non-existent, right? So, and you're getting it just from animal sources, not fucking protein shakes and protein bars and fucking yogurts, okay? Animal sources only, all right? So, and that's because it eliminates the insulin, right? Which puts your body in a state of always being able to tap into burning its body fat when your calories are on point and you're in a calorie deficit because that's the secret to burning fat. you got to be in a calorie deficit even on a carnivore diet, okay? All diets have to create a deficit or you don't lose shit. You ever seen those people that are like, oh, I'm keto, right? And they're getting fatter? This is exactly why. Because they're eating 5,000 calories a day of bacon and ground meats and cheese, Right? And they're not creating a calorie deficit, so they end up getting fatter, right? Or they don't lose any weight at all after that initial week where they lost just water weight, right? So, so that's the first thing. The second thing and reason why I love carnivore and why this is the easiest diet to follow, believe it or not, it really is. The, easy, the reason why it's the easiest diet to follow is because, because you don't trigger the insulin, right? And when you eat carbs, you're going to trigger also a little happy chemical. This is why you like carbs called dopamine, okay? Now, dopamine, whenever you eat, let's, let's say you go have a, 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 you know, you go eat some watermelon. You're going to get dopamine spike, right? You're going to feel so good. Well, in a f- few seconds, few minutes, the dopamine is going to fall, right? Now, this is just, this is you getting high right here, okay? Now, think about this. When you're drinking alcohol or if you've ever been around a drug addict, right? When they are coming down, okay? When they're coming down off their high, what do they do? What do they do? They start having cravings because they want to go back up. It is the exact same situation when you consume any carbs, whether they are shit carbs, right? Like your processed bullshit and sugar or nature's carbs, which are like rice, beans, potatoes, um, fruit, um, quinoa, right? And that's why whenever you have a bite of these things, you always end up overeating it, right? You ever notice that? Like whenever you go have a bite of something, all of a sudden you're like, you, you're like, oh yeah, I'll have a bite. And the next thing you know, you ate the whole pizza, right? Or I'll have a bite of that rice, right? You end up three, eating three bowls, right? This is why dopamine, okay? You're spiking your dopamine. It's rising and crashing. And then you're just chasing the dopamine high. You're basically a fucking crackhead and you're chasing the high and you end up bing, 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 overeating, right? Now, this is one of the cool things about being carnivore, Okay is you don't have to worry about the dopamine spikes and the falls, right? And what ends up happening is whenever you're a carnivore, because you're basically just eating your essential macronutrients, right? So there's no dopamine, right? So no dopamine spike, right? You do get a little bit of dopamine off eating your meat. It's like like this, like it's how it's supposed to be. We're not supposed to get these huge spikes that we're seeing today from all these highly palatable food. These foods, just, just so you know, are designed by the food companies, literally to create what they call in the industry, the bliss level, okay, gets you high as fuck, to create heavy users. This is their terms. Literally, they do this on purpose to make you high, to make you an addict, 
And this is why when you have a bite of that Oreo fucking cookie, you eat the whole sleeve or the whole pack. It's designed to hack into your dopamine and make you binge. It's designed that way. It's how they make their profits, right? And then which leads to you also going to the doctor and getting put on drugs, right? Because the same people own both of those companies, okay? Both those industries, okay? It's all big part of the plan, all right? Make you, make you fat, make you sick, make you drugged, okay? End your life early. It's all part of the plan, okay? So if you haven't realized that in the past few years, you must be retarded right now, okay? Because if you can't see it by now, what's really going on, okay? You just, nobody can help you at this point, all right? So anyway, so that's how this fucking works, right? So the reason why carnivore is so amazing is because you don't get the insulin, right? And then so what ends up happening is you don't, um, you're, you're actually able to tap into your body fat, right? Faster, right? So you lose fat faster and you're not getting the dopamine, right? So what ends up happening is your energy levels and everything, they stay even, right? And what ends up happening is because you're getting your essential macronutrients, which are your protein and your fats, what ends up happening is you naturally feel full because they trigger hormones that make you feel full and you just naturally eat less, right? But you still got to track your macros, okay? Still got to track your macros and make sure you're in deficit. But you just have no interest in food when you're doing carnivore. You're just kind of like, yeah, I ain't hungry, right? So, and a lot of you guys have this habit of eating and drinking emotionally. You got to deal with your emotional shit, okay? It's the reason why you're running those foods. That's a whole nother video, okay? But for right now, I'm just planting the seed. The fast way to remove your muffin top and your diabetes because most of you are pre-diabetic or diabetic, this is how you fix it. Carnivore diet, okay? So, what is a carnivore diet? Is basically carnivore diet. Let me see if there's actually a photo in here. I'll give you a little visual. Might be an image in here. Bam. There you go. This right here is carnivore diet. Basically just animal proteins, right? It's basically how you live. Every single meal, animal proteins. That's all you eat, right? Now, when you do this, the one thing I'm going I'm to fire home on you, make sure you put a up to a tablespoon of salt, okay? Sea salt in a gallon of water and drink that every day up to a tablespoon so play with it two to three tablespoons okay or two to three two to three teaspoons measured teaspoons okay so three of these is actually technically a tablespoon right so three teaspoons is a tablespoon right tablespoon Okay, I can't spell with the mouse, right? Okay, uh, so make sure you get your salt, okay? Because you're gonna need a lot of salt whenever you're doing just whenever you're doing just carnivore. You get salt is electrolytes. You have to have this, or you're gonna feel like death. So if you've ever tried keto before, ever tried carnivore before, and you were super tired and you were super like just feeling like shit, it's because you didn't have your electrolytes and you were super depleted. You can fucking die. Okay, so get your fucking salt. All right, put it in a gallon. Drink that gallon every single day, at least one, okay? Every single day, and you'll be good. You'll be solid. It'll take a little while for your body to switch over energy systems, right? And then once it does, once you go from being a sugar burner to being more fat adapted, you're going to feel really, really good and have a lot of energy, and you're going to start performing better. You're going to feel better. You're going to drop like 10 pounds like pew, right away, right? Your blood sugar levels are going to improve dramatically. Um, everything is going to be better, Okay. So that is the secret on how you remove that muffin top and that diabetes, okay? So if you're not following this channel, follow this channel. Follow me on my social medias, and we will see you next time. Sweet.